Hello and welcome to another episode of This Is Africa Outdoors. Today I have a specific goal in mind. What I'm going to be trying to do is catch some blacktail and I'm going to collect some DNA samples of these blacktails um, so we can compare Natal populations with Eastern Cape populations and other areas. So yeah, got some nice rocky area in front with a lot of white rolling water. So hopefully the blacktails come out, but yeah, let's see how it goes. Stick with us, stay tuned. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button and do consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. I've just got a little ball sinker. Yo, I've just got a little ball sinker, uh, swivel, 15 pound, no, this is 16 pound Novi fluorocarbon, small little Daichi hook, and then I've got pieces of mackerel. I like using mackerel because you don't even have to use cotton to tie it on. I study ichthyology at Rhodes University down in the Eastern Cape in Grahamstown and um, one of the students there, I think it must be a PhD student, is doing a comparison uh, in blacktail, blacktail genetics from around South Africa and even outside of South Africa. So they heard that I was coming down to Natal for a few weeks, for a week. So they asked me if I couldn't just try get some blacktail samples for them. They bite right in here. I think this is a quite a small one if it is one. Oh no. Oh, I lost it. Fishon. Fishon. Fish on. Black tail. Target species. Okay, we have to be quite quick. This is a small fish. We're going to get it back in the water. All we need is a measurement, a DNA sample, and it'll be back in. 19.9 centimeter, fork length. Okay, Let's get this guy back. There he goes. Okay, so basically what I did is I took a small sample from the pectoral fin. It's not going to bother the fish at all, and I've put it in this ethanol sample so it can be sent up to the scientists, to the ichthyologists, so they can test for DNA. Now I'm just going to record which vial I put it in. This is KZ2, 19.9 centimeter blacktail from Zinquazi Beach. Fish on! Fish on! Another one. Another blacktail. How epic is that? Cast after cast, throw for throw, little blacktails. Okay, fork length. Ears. Go and flop, man. Don't be a bastard. This one is 20 centimeters. Fork length. Bye bye, little guy. Okay, so we've got two samples so far. This one is KZ22. And that's a 20 centimeter black tail. Fish on. That is a very, very small little black tail, hey? Very small. This guy in the water. Keep his slime layer intact while we get a sample from the pectoral fin. Small little sample. You don't want to damage the, the fish's swimming abilities at all. Just that tip section of the pectoral fin. Yeah. C 
16.2 centimeters. Bye bye buddy. There he goes. You're super, super froth to be getting these black tail. Really, really, I thought it would be much harder than this. These ones are much smaller than the ones we get in Eastern Cape, but yeah, still a lot of fun. Let's put the sample in the vial. Fish on. Another black tail, a bit bigger this time. Probably the biggest one of the day so far. Quite a nice one. There you go. Let's see if there's anything. Here we go. Fish on. This one seems a bit bigger. <laughs> it's too easy. Too easy. Twenty four point zero centimeters. Fish on. Oh, what is this? Is this even a black tail? Huh? That is the scariest looking fish that I think I've ever seen in my life. I've caught these things in Indonesia before, but I've never caught one here. Isn't that scary? I think it's called a lizard fish. I want to take a picture of my phone. That is really, really sick. Super, super chuffed with that. I mean, yo. Pretty cool, eh? I think it's called a lizard fish. It's epic. Let's get it back in the water. Bye bye. There he goes.